In the beginning, I, I don't even remember what year it was, but it was World Enough in Time. I was actually uh, a student of Mark and Elaine Zakree, and they said, oh, we got involved in this whole new, uh, it was New Voyages then. And uh, they were doing a shoot uh, in Los Angeles with George Takei. I don't care who dies, she lives. And I came on as just a camera operator with the new, at the time, Panasonic HVX 200 cameras because no, no one knew how to do all the systems management and I had done a whole television series as a DP. So I did that and I thought, wow, this is amazing. And then it, that was all I was involved. And then set the Wayback Meter forward a bunch of years to like whatever it was, 2013, 2014. And Alec Peters, who's the executive producer on Axonar, while I was post super on Prelude, said, hey, they needed a director for Mindsifter. Would you be interested? And now this was after they had asked me to do all of the kind of repost the Katumba episode, mm -hmm. uh, which had kind of languished in post, and we got that out. And so I created a little track record for them, and I came and was able to direct Mindsifter. And then the holiest thing needed was languishing in post, and they asked me to fix that. So. Uh, now I'm here on Torment of Destiny directing this, so it's been kind of a, an interesting, it's been an interesting couple of years where, uh, I've said this before, every day that I've woken up for the last year and a half, I've either woken up and worked on Star Trek of one kind or another, or Avengers one, uh, one way or another. Well, how, how is being a DP different than directing, especially for classic Star Trek? Well... The difference between being a director and a DP is that the DP is kind of the, the mechanic of every shot. I mean, they're looking at shadows and lighting ratios and con uh, position of you know, content and where things go in the shot and positioning and pumping to pull focus. You know, we've got Jeff Barklage, you know, world-class director of photography. Even last night, he was pulling focus and doing shots on a 152 millimeter lens that I don't know anybody that could pull off while the actor's moving and just randomly finding it on his red dragon. I mean, just incredible. Whereas the director, while we're looking at those kinds of things, we're looking for performance. We're looking for the overall pacing of a scene. You know, do, do, do the actors need to speed things up, slow things down? Do we need, what's the background of the story? And is it continuing to come forth through the character development? Um, you know, I spend time working with the actors and. Um, creating a collaboration with them so that their integrity as characters come forth. You know, I, I think the thing I hate, one of the things I hate most as a director is when an audience member says, well, that's not what that character would do. And my whole job is to make sure that never happens, that people go, wow, that is, given that circumstance, that's what that character would do. And I work with the actors to make sure that we all agree that's what that did. And then all I have to do is make sure that we capture it right.